Stan Gibalisco here to talk a little bit about field effect transistors, in particular junction field effect transistors. You will find a lot more information about these devices in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. I will include a link to the Amazon page for this book in the description of this video. But for now, we'll cut right to the chase, and I'm just very briefly going to describe for you uh, the two types of junction field effect transistor, JFET. Now, they call them junction field effect transistors because there is a junction between the different types of semiconductor materials, very much like in a bipolar transistor. You have n-type material, you have p-type material, you have a source and a drain, and current flows, electrons flow from the source to the drain in this type of device, which is known as an n-channel field effect transistor, because the channel where the current flows, the electrons flow, is of n-type material, so most of the charge carriers here will be electrons. The gate regulates the current through that uh, channel. Uh, by varying the voltage on the gate, you can make the channel resist current more or less. This, this bottom material here called the substrate is like the foundation. That's p-type, that's p-type, and that's n-type. Now they could call this a PNP device, but to differentiate it from a bipolar transistor they call it an n-channel device. Here's the schematic symbol for it. Notice that the arrow points in towards the n-type material and away from the p-type material, but no current should flow in the gate of a device like this. Little or no current. So this is kind of academic. Let's look at the other type called a P-channel junction field effect transistor. Notice that the N-type and P-type uh, sections are simply reversed and so is the arrow in the schematic symbol. The current that flows from the source to the drain, normally you put the input of a signal amplifier, for example, at the gate to regulate the current that can flow through this device from the source to the drain. This current comprises mainly holes because this is a P or positive type semiconductor material channel. Otherwise, the device functions in essentially the same way as the n-channel device does. It does pretty much the same thing. It's just that you have to switch the battery polarity around or the power supply polarity around. Otherwise, that is a p-channel device because the channel comprises p-type material. That is an n-channel device. So when you hear engineers talk about these things now, you'll know more or less what I'm talking about and you'll also know a lot more about it if you read this book. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.